Today we're going to conduct an advanced Medline search using PubMed to find information relevant to a clinical scenario. If you're already familiar with evidence-based practice, then you know that searching the literature is the second step of EBP, and that comes after the first step, which is asking a well-defined, answerable question. This is a description of the case that we're considering in this search scenario. A 30-year-old male patient was diagnosed with depression, and he's expressed that he would prefer to use alternative medicines rather than SSRIs. You, as his physician, believe that his disorder would be improved with SSRIs, but he wants to know if St. John's wort could be just as effective for reducing symptoms of depression. The first step of searching the literature is to take the case scenario and separate it into individual concepts, breaking it down into a PICO question. This way it can be translated into a search query for the database. The P element of this question is depression. The intervention that we are considering is SSRIs. And the comparison in this case is St. John's Word. Now the desired outcome in this scenario is to reduce depressive symptoms. We are not going to search for that terminology because it's already implied by searching for depression itself. But anytime you are faced with a clinical scenario, it is still a good practice to write out your full PICO question because it does help to guide you throughout the search process and when you're reviewing the articles as well and looking for the information that you need. Now that we've determined the individual concepts of our PICO question, the next step is to choose terminology that the database is most likely to understand. The controlled vocabulary used in Medline is known as MESH, which stands for Medical Subject Headings. From the first page of PubMed, you can find the MESH database here, and this is where we can search for the best terms to use. Let's search for depression. Here are the results in the MeSH database of, of terminology. You'll see there's depression and depressive disorder. It's important to read the descriptions here carefully. Depressive disorder is the term that would be best in this case because we're not looking at depression as a temporary state of mind. In this case scenario, it's actually a disorder. As you plan your search, it's helpful to have a scratch paper or something similar to this table where you can write down the good search terms that you find as you identify them. Let's find the next term. St. John's wort does have a different mesh heading that's different from the more commonly used term. This is a good example of a time to use the OR operator in a search so that you can retrieve everything that uses either the term St. John's wort or the term Hypericum. Now we're ready to begin building our search, so we've got to get out of the MeSH database and back into PubMed. The easiest way to do that from the MeSH database is to scroll down and click on PubMed here. And now what we'll do is go into the Advanced Search Builder to combine all of our concepts. Now that the search terms are entered correctly, all we have to do is click on search. For your future searches, be sure when you use this builder all at once that anything on the left is connected with AND. Notice that we are searching for two different terms here, and the OR is in the same line. Here are the results of the search. There are a couple of filters that can be applied to reduce the number of articles that we need to look through. Another filter, if you have too many articles to read, is to choose the language. We don't see it here, so we have to click on Show Additional Filters, Languages, say Show, and now you'll see we can click on English. You know it's activated when it has the blue check mark next to it. Click on Customize to find more options, and I'd recommend trying Meta Analysis and systematic reviews. You do have to choose them from this list first, say show, and then click on them once again to filter the results. I will apply those to 
And now we see the, the highest levels of clinical evidence. Let's review what we searched. We searched for depressive disorder and serotonin uptake inhibitors. We decided to use the two terms for St. John's wort to broaden the results. Remember, anytime you use or, you are expanding the set of search results. Anytime you connect with and, the more concepts you have combined with and, the fewer results you will get. If you find with your clinical question that the results are not relevant, and this is pretty common, what you may need to do then is to conduct two separate searches where you look at the P element and the first intervention, for example this here, we would look at the depression and the serotonin uptake inhibitors, review the evidence as far as how effective that is on its own, and then we would conduct a separate search. In the second search, we would search for the comparison intervention or the St. John's work and look at the evidence on a standalone basis for that as far as treating depression. After you've conducted your search or your searches, the next step is to carefully sit down and review the literature that you've found, conduct a critical appraisal. These are some examples of the types of questions that you would want to take into consideration for a clinical scenario. After the critical appraisal comes the apply step. In this step, you integrate the evidence with your own clinical expertise and the values of the patient, and you decide how to apply this in practice or relay the information.